Hi, I'm Carolyn Choate, and I'm standing next to the Delaware River, where I'll soon be taking the second most epic journey of my life. Yes, I'll be kayaking from my home in Nashua, New Hampshire, then hopscotching my way across the Charles, Connecticut, and the Hudson Rivers until reaching this mighty and beautiful expanse of water, the Delaware. On August 10th, my daughter Sydney and I will launch in Port Jervis, New York, and we won't stop until we reach Baltimore's Inner Harbor in my native Maryland, some 300 miles away. If it sounds impossible, consider my epic journey with stage three estrogen positive breast cancer some 14 years ago, when at the age of 45, doctors gave me three years to live. Routine mammograms failed to see the golf ball sized tumor and cancer invaded four lymph nodes. Following a radical mastectomy, aggressive chemo and radiation my oncologist wanted me to try a promising anti-cancer drug called an aromatase inhibitor. It blocks estrogen the body naturally produces and that stimulated my particular cancer. Why not, I thought. I have everything to lose and everything to gain. Think about it. You can do a lot in 14 years. You can see your children grow up and graduate high school and college, become amazing young women with inspiring careers while you enjoy a career of your own. Celebrate your 25th anniversary in Italy. Hike around the world raising awareness and money for research and financial assistance for women in treatment. And if you're extraordinarily lucky, like I was, you might have the chance of a lifetime to meet the person who made these 14 years possible and all the years ahead. Dr. Angela Brody, the world-renowned pharmacologist who formulated the aromatase inhibitor in the 1970s. We first met in 2014, after I became obsessed with finding whoever it was that did so, so I could thank them personally. I'll never forget that day and what the word research has meant to me personally and globally. Dr. Brody, as you well know, since that auspicious day, I've been retracing the world's greatest epics through the feminine lens of a breast cancer survivor. It's time I wrote an epic of my own, aptly titled River of Life, with my older daughter by my side. It pays tribute to your life-saving research, so future generations will know and continue to fund groundbreaking discoveries. I hope all those watching will join us and contribute.